Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the Minixis pet battle on Argus. I'm going to start with a quick team to just beat him and do your world quest. Then I'll show you strategies for every single pet family for progress on the family fighter achievement. Minixis lives here on the south end of the big ship in the Antorn Wastes. Demons like to get really snuggly over here, so keep to the back wall if you want to live. First up, the quick strategy for when you just want to do your world quest, which also doubles as the flying strat. In the first slot is a Skyfin pet with wild magic, and second is Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw, and Flock. Third, bring any flying pet, you won't need it. Start with the Skyfin and use wild magic, then die to the Antan Cannon. Swing in Icky and use Black Claw, then Flock, then Savage Talon. Look at that, you're done! Next up is Aquatic. In my first slot is an eel pet featuring Deep Bite, Dodge, and Dive. The Slithershock Elver or Lagan would be fine. Second, I'm using my Tundra Penguin with Slippery Ice and Ice Lance. Third is the Spawn of Ganathus with Jolt, Dive, and Thunderbolt. Start the fight with your eel, use Dodge, and then immediately swap to the Penguin. Use Slippery Ice and then Ice Lance three times. The Penguin is done, so bring in the Spawn of Ganathus and use Thunderbolt, then Jolt, then Dive, then Jolt. He mechanicals himself back to life and we're all out of buttons to press, so just pass the turn. On the eel, use dodge, and then spam deep bite to win the battle. Next is critters. I'm using my pint-sized pink pachyderm with trample, survival, and stampede, then crispin with burn and flamethrower. Third is a dark moon or lovebird hatchling with predatory strike, but you could use almost any critter as a third. Start with your pachyderm and use survival. Trample twice, and then use stampede. The pachyderm dies, so bring up Crispin and use Flamethrower, then Burn, then Flamethrower. The last pet just needs to polish things off, so I'll use Predatory Strike. If you're using a different pet, just follow your heart and it'll be fine. Next, we'll do Elemental. I'm bringing out my Blazehound with Obsidian Bite, Frenzy, and Puppies of the Flame, and second, I've got my Nightshade Sproutling with Lash and Blinding Poison. Any third pet is fine. If you don't have those first two, you can try subbing in a Pandaren Water Spirit or a Molten Corgi. Starting with my Blazehound, I'm using Puppies of the Flame. It always cracks me up when he lavas up and summons a bunch of corgis. After that adorable show is over, use Frenzy and then spam Obsidian Bite. That brings us over halfway. I'll bring in my Nightshade Sproutling and use Lash, then Blinding Poison, and then go back to Lash. Because I'm faster, I'm getting two rounds of benefit out of Blinding Poison, so I use it one round before his Antan Cannon is up. Keep it up with the Lashing and that pretty much does the trick. Next is Humanoid. First slot is any humanoid pet with wild magic, such as the Ashley Spriteling, the Corefire Imp, or the Wretched Servant. Second is Squirky with Bubble and Stampede. Third, I'm using Wormy Tunkins with Burp, but you can use any humanoid pet that has a big elemental attack. The Anubiseth Idol with Rupture, anybody with Deep Freeze or Conflagrate, etc. Start with your wild magic pet, use wild magic, and then die. Bring in Squirky and use Bubble, then spam Stampede. If you're bored, you can try to count all the Squirkies that you're unleashing against the Legion. It's quite a few. Squirky gets really close but doesn't quite finish it off, so bring in that last pet and smack him down. It is surprisingly fun to burp a starship to death. Next up is Mechanical. The first slot is our faithful Mechanical Pandar and Dragonling with Breath, Thunderbolt, and Decoy. Second is my Pocket Cannon with Flame Shot and Explode, and third is any Decoy pet with spammable damage. I like Skybo for that third slot because he's got Flamethrower. Start with our Mech Dragon and use Decoy, then Thunderbolt, and then swap to the Pocket Cannon. Use Flame Shot four times for a total of two shots, and then explode on him. It's so good. Swing in your Decoy pet, lay down the Decoy, and then go at him spamming damage. With Skybow, I'm just going to mash Flamethrower. We still have the entire Panda Dragon link just in case, so no stress if you're Skybowless. Next, we've got Beasts. First, you want any raptor pet set up with exposed wounds. In second, bring your Zandalari Ankle Render or Knee Biter with Black Claw, Hunting Party, and Leap. And third, bring either another Zandalari Raptor with Hunting Party or a high attack breed beast with big beast damage. Starting with the Vanilla Raptor, lay down exposed wounds and then eat the Antan Cannon. Bring out your Zandalari Raptor and use Black Claw, then Hunting Party, and then Leap. On your last pet, use Hunting Party or just whack him down with your favorite beast moves. That last slot is pretty flexible. Let's do Dragonkin. First is the Proto Drake Whelp with Flamethrower and Proto Strike. Second is any Dragonhawk Hatchling with Conflagrate and Flamethrower. Third slot can be another Dragonhawk or a Bronze Whelp with Tail Sweep, Early Advantage, and Liftoff. Starting with our red Proto Drake Whelp, use Proto Strike and then spam Flamethrower. After he dies, bring in the Dragonhawk and use Conflagrate, then back to spamming Flamethrower. You want this pet to live long enough to eat the Antan Cannon, which it should. 
With that out of the way, I'll use Early Advantage, then Mash Tail Sweep. On a second Dragonhawk, it'd just be another Conflagrate and more Flamethrower. That brings us to Magic. Lots of pets will work here, so just try out what you've got handy. My first pet is Transmutant, with Transmute Enemy 2 on Fire, Drain Power, and Life Exchange. My second pet is Minfernal with Immolate, Immolation Aura, and Meteor Strike, while third is an Enchanted Lantern with Burn and Soul Ward. You could use three lanterns and do great. I'll start with Transmutant and use Drain Power, then Life Exchange, and then spam Transmute Enemy 2 on Fire. It's quite effective. After the Transmutant dies, I'll bring in my Minfernal and throw up Immolation Aura, then use Immolate, and then Meteor Strike which avoids the cannon. One more Immolate almost does it, so I'll bring in my Lamp and wrap it up with a Burn. Last is Undead. I've got my Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension, a Mr. Bigglesworth with Pounce, Frost Nova, and Howling Blast, and third is my Fragment of Anger with Seethe. Start with the Valkyr, use Curse of Doom, and then Unholy Ascension. On Bigglesworth, use Frost Nova, then Howling Blast, and then Pounce twice. We get one more Frost Nova before Biggles is done. On the Fragment of Anger, just mash Seethe. So that's Family Fighter Minixis. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for the rest of the Family Fighter guides and other super cool WoW videos. Let me know what you think, share your own strategies in the comments if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!